benefits of being an ear player? You don't have to pack around the music. Don't have to pack around the music, right? What are other benefits? You can play any song. Any song. What are the disadvantages? You, know know the you better know the song. Right. <laughs> if I tell you to play, um, she drove a yellow Cadillac up the hill in Monterey, <laughs> could you play that song if you're an ear player? I just made the song up, by the way. <laughs> Nobody knows it. You couldn't play it. You just stood there with it like, uh, no. But if I had the music to I drove a golden Cadillac up a hill in Monterey and handed you the music, if you were a note reader, you'd be fine, right? If you knew how to count and you knew, knew the chords, you're there. Okay, so what are the disadvantages of being a note reader? You don't have the score in front of you, you're lost. Right. No music, no play. Now, if you had a choice and you could only be one, either an ear player or a note reader, think about it very carefully because God says you get one talent, ear or notes. Can't have both. Which one would you pick? Okay, think about it very carefully. How many of you would pick ear? Have a half. How many would pick notes? Not even half. What are the rest of you going to do? <laughs> fun? They're not going to have any fun. They're not going to have any fun. Yes? How can you make the transition from notes to ear? That's what I'm going to teach you. Aren't you glad you're here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How many of you are note readers? Just, you got to have those notes or you're not going to play very long. Okay. Most of us are. We learn that way. I don't think there's very many music teachers in this world that can even teach people how to play by ear. Um, my teacher, I asked her as I got older, I went back to visit my family in Wisconsin, and I said, do you know chords? No. Do you? She says, I know triads, and I know scales, but she, she never really learned to play chords, so she didn't teach them. I said, do you know how to play by ear? No. All right, then, and I asked our teachers here in our teaching network group that we have, there's about 25 teachers, and I asked them, how many of you can play by ear? One. How many of you can play a song, if I tell you to play You Are My Sunshine, how many of you can pick it out with chords? Two. See, most teachers are still in the box. All right, there's not very many places you can go to learn to play by ear. And I learned because I had a gentleman that was going to play a concert with me that told me I had, to, I had to play with no music. And I said, I can't do that. He says, well, then I'm going to teach you. I played the concert with music, but after that, he started teaching me. It took me years to be able to sit down and have confidence enough to try, at least try. And I still can't play the really hard songs. But I can play almost any song in certain classifications, okay? And we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, so this class is how to play by ear. And then we're going to use the four things, play more existing notes, play the notes late, add grace notes and trills, and play chromatics. Then we'll use that side to embellish or to make it fancier, this side, all right? Okay, so here we go. Greg, can you come up? When you play by ear, the key is you can't use any music. So just put the music away. My friend who taught me how to play by ear said, did this. He gave me a piece of music, or a piece of paper, and he put it on the music rack. Now, that, this, this has always been my security blanket. This is my security blanket. I always had the notes and I knew where they were. As soon as he put a blank piece of paper up there, I was like, oh, well, I'll play, but I'm not playing very long. <laughs> all right. So when you play by ear, all you do is you take a pencil and you write down the name of the song, the title, that you want to play by ear. Now, here's the problem. Generally what happens is a brain drain about right then and you can't remember the title of one song. <laughs> Nothing. So here's what you do. 
You get out a book and you look at the table of contents. That's how you get the suggestions. Ear players only use tables of contents. All right, pick up an easy play book, pick up something and go, okay, here's a book. And Christmas is a great time to do this. See, it's how he handed me a Christmas book. All right, and this is all I get. I am not allowed to look in here, okay? Cold turkey means you just look here. And I'm gonna look down here and I'm gonna go, okay, which ones do I know? This is a Oh Holy Night, I know that. I know Silent Night. I know What Child Is This? I know, I know, this is a kind of an off the wall Christmas book. But I know Silent Night, so I'll pick it. All right? So all you do is you take your paper and you write number one, Silent Night. And then I'm going to write the first note of my song after the title. That's it. That is all I get. Now, I told the Wednesday class about this gentleman that was in my class years ago. He lived on a boat down on the river. And his name was Jim. And Jim wanted to play by ear. And he started out in our class with his list. And then he took his boat and he went down to the Bay Area. We didn't see him for a few years. Came back a few years later and he says, Karen, I got to tell you. And he pulled his wallet out and he had this cash register tape all kind of folded up. And he held it up and it went doodly 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 and he had a whole list of songs that he played by ear that he had learned over the years and he kept them on his, a little piece of paper in his wallet because he said he couldn't remember the songs that he knew. But as soon as he saw the title, then the song came to him. He had like a file cabinet in his head. So this will kind of keep you oriented on what you know. All right, so Silent Night is going to be my challenge. Okay. Okay, Greg, you can write. Because for the video, we won't, he can't see this little card. Okay. All right. So, number one, when you want to play by ear, first thing you have to do is know that you can. Everybody can. There isn't anybody I've ever told this to that said that they ended up, could not do it, period. You can do it. You just have to have confidence and an attitude. And the ability to make a mistake and not have it blow you up, you know, just blow your mind and, and totally short circuit your head. So you just have to be calm and go, this is fun. I'm going to screw it up, but it's more fun to fix it if I do screw it up. All right. Number one, you always tell the instrument what key you want to be in. Most people can't play by ear because they start playing a melody and they end up in the key of H flat and they can't ever figure out what chords to use. There is a key of H flat. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So, for, you have to take control and tell it what key you want to be in. What would that be? C. The Spanish key. Right? The key of C. And I'm going to play a C chord. Alright, I know now that all of my melody notes are probably going to be white ones. Okay, I, I'm not going to have sharps or flats because I'm in the key of C. I may have a few accidentals, but generally I'm safe and I can play on the, black, on the white notes. 